girl. This girl is ready. She don't even open her legs that wide in Taekwondo. Here we go. When Eddie is in the house, he always has the remote. But when he's out of the house, he barely wears his. He's in the coat. <laughs> I let him. I let Lizzie win that one. Oh, get it. He let you, okay? You, you flirting. If you don't put them glasses down, so I can do your hair for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lizzie. Coming. Yeah, so oh, you got a piece. So then the school went on. Wearing coats and get in the car. Okay. You're going to be late. Start moving. Okay. Whew. I feel so much better now. Because today, I felt like crap. Putting on my shoes. Ugh. I was working hard today, this morning. My, um, the vlog that... You would have already saw because that has to go up today. I had that ready at like 8 30, 9 o'clock this morning. And then all of a sudden, my body just said, Go lay down. I still needed to put music in the background, and I didn't. So I gotta do that part. That's what I'm about to do in the car. That's the thing on my shoulders and laptop. Y'all, I felt, you ever feel weird like you're coming down with something? That's what it felt like. I slept that off. Yes, I did. Hallelujah, Father God. So now it's time to go get the kids. the arms and the legs. He did it just like her. Oh, but he added, he added some lips. <laughs> we come home and gotta get straight to drawing. Look at him. Look at him. You, you can't get better if you don't act like you Oh, look at him. He did it. He did it. That's look at that. What the world? It's the Grinch's Look at that. Whoa, I had, I had to stop what I was great. doing to show y'all. Look at the hands. Yes. It's so and I like how you feel with the pages up. Yep, I was just telling him that too. So you want to close, 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 not with markers. Yeah. I told him that too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come back to y'all and show y'all when he's done. See, Look at that hand. Like Look at Mama. that. Keep it still, Kuda oh, Scooter. late and I need to go to bed but I just want to let you know that the next clip is going to be um Nana and I talking well actually it was mainly me talking because the minute I hit record Nana stopped talking you won't see her on the screen or anything like that but um I just wanted to say a few things that were on my mind <laughs> so it's gonna be long though I'm gonna do some little chippity chopping, um but this vlog is long so I hope you enjoy. Hmm. I'm about to go to bed now. Gotta make a list. Video topics. Oh. <laughs> did you put it I sure did. Video topics. Because I got a comment about my glasses. About how my videos are boring. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna make a topic. We're gonna go back to old school. Nah, but for real. Um, no, the topics are gonna be like the adoption topics. It's not gonna be like topics of what to vlog about. I'm not doing that. That's not real. That's like being a director of a movie. I'm not doing that. I really don't know what, I really don't know what type of topics to, to talk about with adoption because I've already covered all of them. Mm -hmm. you, did, you did the one with the kids. Their point of view. I did their point of view. I did. I I did my viral one. That that took me places. That skyrocketed mm -hmm. my channel. But no. But then I remember because you know how I had that little hallway in my bedroom in Connecticut, mm -hmm. like a little hallway to go to the bathroom. And I remember I used to sit on the floor and I used to talk about, um, like, does it cost money to adopt through foster care? Do you get money? Do you get insurance for it? I've done all of that.
so it's gonna be repetitive. I can put, I can make a, um, I can make a playlist, but to keep talking about the same thing over and over again, the same topic, ain't nobody gonna pay attention to that because they already done heard it. But people want to assume that I didn't do it. There's a lot of assumptions in the world. Instead of asking, did you do it? And then I'd be like, oh yeah, I did a video on that. But to say that I should do something, that means you're telling me you know I did it, and you're telling me to do it. Instead of asking, did you do it? You're telling me I know you did it. So go do it. It's the life of being a social media influencer. I'm gonna lean back on the pillow. <laughs> And I think the most exciting thing that people want to talk about with my type of adoption, because I honestly feel that if my kids were black, no one would ask me about mm -hmm. adoption. And if I was white, no one would ask me about adoption. So if I was white and they were white, same race, they wouldn't ask. And if my kids were black and I'm black, same race, they wouldn't ask. I think it's because we're different. They're asking. But with that being said, you just want to know about the racism side of it. Especially when I've talked so much about it, I think that's the only thing left. And the only thing is, it's just that I don't want those type of people here. Because if you really think about it, my channel has some very good viewers. Like, I don't get name called. I don't get called a name. My kids don't get called a name. I don't get mean things. People don't call me names and they don't do this. And, and like all the stuff that I see other people experience, that's like, oh Lord, I don't want that side of the street. You need to stay over there. And I know that if I constantly talk about the racism side of YouTube, I mean, the racism side of YouTube, the racism side of adoption, transracial adoption, that's all I'm gonna get. Now I'm not afraid to talk about it because I just recently did one, what, back in September? So I'm not afraid to talk about it, but to constantly put that as a topic. Then I think it's then I think it's the vibe that you put out is the vibe that you get back because I don't even get I don't even get that out in public. Like when I'm standing outside waiting for the kid, I don't see nobody staring at us. At least I'm just so goofy and don't realize it. And if they do stare, I always smile back. I don't be like, "What you staring at me for? Yes, these are my kids." Like, always on guard like that. I'm like, they could have been staring at you because they like your shirt, girl. They could be staring at you because they like your eyebrows. They staring at you because your kids is light and you dark. So I'm not going to walk around talking about, do you know today somebody stared at me for 50 seconds today? They're like, okay. Yeah, but people usually stare at me for 10. So mm -hmm. they stared at me for 50 today. So I know they were staring at me because I'm black and my kids is white and they thought I stole them. I'm like, oh. I'm trying to to discuss everything about what the person left in the comment. What were they mentioning? They was mentioning that my videos are getting a little boring. And now if you're comparing them, somebody else has said something like that before, but this person was mean when they said it. This person today was not. And I told them they weren't mean. But this other person was just rude. They were gonna unsubscribe. Yeah, they were unsubscribe and all that stuff. I'm like, did you make an announcement when you arrived? So why are you making an announcement that you departed? So just dip out real quietly. That's not the person today. That was this other mm -hmm. person. Back in Connecticut, I would it would be me and Eddie because you, you would be at work and Liz would be at school. And it was me and Eddie sitting down trying to figure out what to do the day. Like, what should we do today? What should we do today? I think that's why Eddie just gets so jealous all the time. Because it was always mommy and me, mommy and me. We was out on the go in the van cruising around. And now I gotta share her with people? <laughs> I'm like, Eddie. You... Then I get some people saying that Eddie's not getting enough attention. I'm like, he is getting enough attention. It's just that he doesn't want to share me. So even he could be with me for like an hour. And as he walks away, Liz would come to me. Two minutes later, he'd come to me as if he never had me. I'm like, Eddie, you can't do that. And then he wants one on one attention at school mm -hmm. with teachers. He get mad when he got a teacher. That's mine. And then when that kid raised their hand and they get that teacher, he gets so mad when that teacher gets up and goes to the other kid. And I said, oh my gosh, I think I screwed him up like that. It used to just be me and him all the time. It was Dunkin' Donuts, the post office, and Target. And since Eddie and I are the goofy ones in the family, it was always entertaining because we're just goofy. It's just me and him being silly. And so we don't do that that much anymore because you got to look, things change. And when I'm getting older, okay, I'm getting tired. <laughs> And now, Eddie's at school. He goes to school now. So for like a good chunk of the day, he's not here. 
And you just and so you want to see what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm starting my business. So you're gonna get bored just watching me do it. It's just like if somebody goes to work, like a, a job, because people think social media is not a real job. If somebody goes to work, and you take a camera and follow you to work. They're like, girl, we don't want to see you at work every day. Mm -hmm. You have a normal a normal job in real life, but on social media, you can't be have a normal life. You got to be like keeping up with the holdings. So it's really like keeping up the Kardashians really got to be holding it down. It's really got to be <laughs> like, no, I'm like, you want to see the real me. And like I was, I, like I was telling you earlier, it was like family channels got to go to target every day. Beauty mm -hmm. vloggers got to be on an airplane every day. And like men channels, like men review men video games. They got to be buying cars every day. It's like, no, it's like, you're not living vicariously through me going to Target. That was expensive. Always at Target every dog going day. Mm -hmm. That was expensive, going to Target, buying things that I did not need every day. Making your channel like that, that's expensive, okay? I used to go to Target every other day. And you know, once you go inside of Target and, and, and you hear that, you hear that, you, you hear the creak of the chains of the door open and the wind hits you and they always put Starbucks at the front so you smell the cold, the, the fresh brew. It sort of just tells you to just spend money that you don't even want to spend. Either spend money you don't want to spend or spend money that you don't have. So you're just in there just spending. And I was doing that like a, a couple times a week just to have entertaining videos. And I would do hauls. And I was like, let me stop doing that. That's not me. And there's a lot of YouTubers that will go onto YouTube, do stupid stuff like that, and then get so stressed out because they know that's not them. And they either want to save their money or burnt all of it. And they know now that if they stop doing it, they can't entertain their viewers like they used to. So they get so depressed that they disappear from YouTube for a while. And then they come back with a video saying, where have I been? I've been gone. Life away. And all them, them, those titles because they just went through stress. So when you have viewers looking up to you like a celebrity, like I love when people say that I'm inspiring them. That's the whole point. I love to inspire people. I love to encourage people. I love to give people ideas. But it's really, there's a fine line that some people put on inspiring and idolizing. Some people cross that line and turn me into their idol. Don't idolize me. I'm not perfect. My kid's not perfect. Nana not perfect. My sister and my nephew not perfect. If I start dating someone, they're not perfect. No one's perfect. I am a human that wake up, get my kids ready to school. I live my life. It can be boring. It can be exciting today. Get my kids from school, get their dinner, get them prepared, go to sleep and do exactly the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing like you. I'm not hopping on a plane. <laughs> I'm not going to Target every doggone day. And the crafts that I do, because someone said I don't want to just see your crafts, it's not, it, obviously it is crafting, but it's not just crafts. Because if it was just crafts, I wouldn't be doing a multitude of the same idea. So if I was doing something, it would be one of that one and one of them. So if you see me doing like 10 of the same thing, it's like, she's doing, she doing something with that stuff. That'd be kind of weird if I'm keeping all of it. Someone got sad and said that, they wanted it for Christmas. I'm not doing it for Christmas for a few reasons. Number one, I don't have everything ready. And I'm talking about the, the paperwork, the legal stuff. You got to deal with the taxes, the LLC. You got to deal with the business, the licensing. And then I don't want to open up a business in quarter four, like the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. I don't want to open up no business in the fourth quarter. Let's start fresh on the first quarter and bring it all the way through. I don't, I don't talk to people a lot about that stuff because I don't know if it's boring. That's the thing. And then some people say, no, it's not boring. It's not boring. And, but then you have the people that do think it's boring. They stay silent until I listen to the ones who are vocal. And then they just get so aggravated. It is boring. I'm like, well, you should have said something a long time ago. The light keep going in and out. I'm sorry if it goes out and out and out. I'm in Nana's room and she ain't got no light on. She got her little light on over there by the thing thing. Girl, she put me in the dark. Will she stop doing that? Turn that light on. All that I know is too much for you and Eddie be telling me that that be too doing you too wrong. Okay, I'm gonna get up. Hold up. Let me walk over. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. Here we go, girl. I knew if you let me do that. We did that a long time ago. So, um, but no, I took it respectfully. But I just wanted to bring it up because 
it's a topic that we could talk about and this is vlogmas so let's talk about it how long have i been talking oh i've been talking for a long time but y'all said y'all like me talking like the car pretend mm -hmm. now the lighting is better and then it had me in the dog on dark oh i try to make it as funny as possible that's why I do the clips. I make sure I give you the good music with the good beats. I try to do something. And then back when I used to plan all of my Target and Freighter Joe's type thing that Eddie and I did all the time. And even if I was planning something else, even like other, other um, YouTubers, they just plan things. There's a lot that goes into the planning. Um, whether you're saving up your money, planning your money, or wasting your money. So let's move the money part out for a second. You know you got to spend it. But you sit there and you plan it and you get so excited when you edit it. You're like, oh, this is going to be good. It's going to be funny. It's going to be entertaining. And then you don't get no views for it. And when I say no views, I mean, if you're used to getting 20,000 views and you only got nine, it took all that time to figure out what you're going to do that day. And, and sometimes it could feel fake or it could feel forced or it could feel annoyed. Like, I didn't feel like leaving the house that day. I was tired. I didn't feel like getting dressed. I had to put on my eyebrows. I had to do my puff. Like when I used to have a big puff. And I didn't feel like doing all that, but I got to do all that to get up and go outside. Or like the girls that be putting the makeup, I got to put on the makeup, I got to put on a tight outfit. Got to make sure that I wear this outfit in the last 90 days on the gram. Because if I did, I can't wear it again. I got a Kardashian in it. You can't see me in it again. That's another thing. I'm going to wear these clothes over and over and over again. It makes you feel bad when the video don't go popping when you spend so much into making it pop. When I make my regular videos, I'm like, you're just going to see the real me. You're going to see the regular me. If today I ain't do nothing, but you wanted a vlog today, you're going to see me do nothing. And then if I don't get a lot of views for it, yeah, it's going to hurt. But I won't feel that bad because I'm like, hey, I ain't really do much. So whatever. I don't know. My brain is all over the place with this. I know some people are like, girl, are you complaining? I would love a job like that. Yeah, you in it. I ain't complaining about the job. But it ain't, it's not all that you think it's cracked up to be. One person, oh, one person even told me, you're boring, go back to Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Did you read that one? Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is boring, go back to Connecticut. Um, you're a hater. My main focus is my kids' education. That's another, oh, you don't understand the stuff I went through behind the scenes of their education. So you, my main thing is my kids' education and their health doctor visits on doctor visits, school appointments on school appointments. I'm not taking you with me there. And it's like, I'll, I'll pick up the camera again when I get in, when I get back in the house. It's like, I have a life, y'all. So I'm trying to show you the fun things. I'm not putting you in my business. That's not happening. And it's funny because some people think that when they watch vloggers that they're in your business. There are vloggers that'll tell you everything. They'll show you themselves all the way up into getting in the shower. But... You're not in every, every vlogger is not giving you the whole meat of their business. Trust me, they're not. I don't know like what topics of adoption you want to hear about. Is it that you only want to hear about the racist side? Do you want to hear about, I think someone's probably going to say, how long does it take that I can't tell you though? And it's not, I can't tell you because it's a secret and I'm a contract bound to not say anything. It's not that, it's because I don't know. Everybody's case is different. Like Lizzie's case. I got Lizzie when she was nine, eight or nine months old. She was eight months old. She was adopted nine days after she turned two. So I got her in the summer of 2014. She was adopted in October 2015. Now, now you saw how fast that was? Now with Eddie... I got Eddie when he was five and a half months old. So we're rounded to six, six months old. I didn't adopt Eddie until he was right before he was three years old. I got Eddie in January of 2016, adopted him in the summer of 2018. His case was so doggone long. So everyone's case is long. Someone, someone's cases are real quick or faster than Lizzie's. Some cases are longer than Eddie's. It's just different. No one can give you that amount of time. And they are biological brother and sister. They have the same mom. Different dads, but have the same birth mom. So it's like you would think that the case would go the same amount of time, if not faster. But it took longer. 
if you ask me how long it's going to take, you're going to get annoyed with me because I'm just going to say I don't know. There are some people that don't understand and they'll say, well, why didn't you adopt the other kids you had? It's because obviously you don't know how foster care works. You're probably the type of person that have listened to the angry birth parents. You can get them back. You do have to do what you're told though. They probably took your child for good reasons or they probably took your child for um, a misunderstanding. But uh, either way they took your child, you can get your child back. Your child is not taken and immediately put into adoption process. When I had the other children, they went back home. There was only two kids that went to their grandmother. And those was two little girls that I had for a day. They end up going to the grandma. But it was some months later. And I got a phone call and said, you remember those little girls you had? My heart dropped. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, I think we're going to need you, Kim. And I was like, yes, yes, yes. And then the phone call slowed down. Because they were like, we're going to call you later today. And they didn't call me later today. And then, then I had ended up calling them. I think the next day. And they said, well, hold on, we gotta find something out. And I'm like, what? Why did you call me if you didn't have everything? And then they ended up calling me saying, no, we, we, we don't need you after all. They're gonna stay with the grandmother. There's more to it that I'm not gonna say, but for all the other kids that I had, they went back to their birth mom, back to their birth moms. And that's how foster care is. It's to hold on to your child until, you're, until you get on your feet till you get ready or till you find someone that's stable to take your child. And if you can't, you place them permanently with the person you gave them to when they first arrived. And then the people who, oh, that's another thing, people will watch the, my videos and assume things. And that's another thing, you gotta worry about stuff like that. You gotta make the videos look fun, entertaining, perfect. Oh, my child blinked too many times in this clip. Let me clip it out because they're gonna look like they just got finished crying when they did it. Um, I gotta look over here because my child's standing back too far right there. They look like they're being ignored because someone left a comment like that not so long ago. I'm like, so my child is standing right there. He looks, looks ignored. My child runs up to me all the time. Eddie does not wait for attention. If you see Eddie standing back, it's either because he's standing back, he done did something wrong, or I told him to be quiet before I record. But if ain't none of those happen, he coming up to me. Oh, mommy. That's what he gonna say. And he running for hugs. He don't wait for no hug. He just like that cat. They don't wait. They run. They cling. So if Eddie's standing back, he's not being ignored. Please. Then I have some people saying, you always got Eddie. Why you don't got Net uh, Lizzie? Lizzie always walking with Nana. She need to walk with you. If there's a video with, with uh, me with Lizzie, I take Lizzie to the store and leave Eddie at home. Why you left Eddie at home and you took Lizzie? I'm like, can you stop? Like stuff like that you gotta go through. You gotta go through, is it entertaining? Are you telling too much? Are you not explaining enough? Um, does it look like you're giving this kid more attention because this kid doesn't wanna be vlogged for a while. There was times where Lizzie didn't care to be vlogged. She never told me, keep that out of my face, go away. She didn't do that, but she just didn't come up to the camera when the camera was on. Eddie hears that ding ding because the, the camera goes like this, like this noise. That boy comes running. Lizzie doesn't care. Eddie comes running and he hops on the couch and he jumps around and he twirls around and he goes, hey ladies. He does all that stuff. Lizzie doesn't do that. Um, except for recently when she starts to read your comments or start to hear me and Nana talk. I'm like, did you hear what that person said about Eddie? Or Eddie, they said they like that or something like that. It's kind of like, she's like, wait a minute. Let me do some break dancing on the floor and that crazy. And then she flipping twipped on the floor. I'm like, Lizzie, that's not even your personality. Get up, girl. I don't know. It's a lot that goes on in your mind as a YouTuber. It's not just turn a camera on and make it do what it do. Because you have to worry about my doing. Is it doing? And I feel sorry for the, for the, the beauty vloggers. Oh, I know they're stressed. Because not only do you have to worry about being entertaining, you gotta worry about looking good. The only thing I be worried about looking good is my, if my eyebrows are on my face. And when my eyebrows are not on my face, I tell you, sorry, I'm bald in the eyebrows, although they're on right now. But I be like, sorry, my eyebrows is bald. Y'all just trying to deal with it, don't care. I'm showing you who I am. And that's what you're gonna get if it's boring, sweetie. Just click off and find another fun family. Cause I'm not gonna do that anymore. That was stressful. If, if my vlog is hilarious and funny, 
Congratulations, you won the jackpot that day. But if my if my videos is boring, sorry. Sometimes I, I I feel like we did something real cool and nobody really watched it. Like that time that that Christine and Christopher was here. I thought a lot of people were gonna watch our vlogs because everybody kept saying, Where's Christine? Where's Christopher? We want them. We want them to move to, to Texas with you. What do we gotta do to get her to go and come and blah? And then when they came for that almost that week, like the four days, it wasn't as many views as I thought it was gonna be that everybody kept attacking me. Then we did a little game night. Ain't many people watched the game night. The kids did a game night. Ain't that many people watched it. It was like, y'all be asking for stuff. And then when I give it to you, it's just like a regular view or whatever. I don't know. Somebody left a comment on that person. She said, I love that she voiced her opinion so respectfully. But on the other side of that, I think your vlogs are refreshing and comforting. It's nice to see a normal family just document their daily lives. I love that nothing is staged or rehearsed, especially with the kids. Exactly. I think a lot of us moms here can relate to the repetitive daily routine. Exactly. Now I will say I do enjoy the vlogs when you're outside of the comforts of the home. Store runs, parks, movie theaters, church. But I love that it happens naturally. It's not planned for a video. And I also miss your grocery hauls. I just said that about the hauls. Um, I used to make my shopping list from your hauls. Wow. Yeah, y'all have to voice it because what happens this is how we can only go off of how we feel if we are doing something over and over and over again and we see that it's not making the views rise we think it's boring so we're gonna stop but meanwhile a lot of you quiet viewers are enjoying it loving it but you're not saying anything so we don't know and then when we stop you guys think oh it's coming back she just stopped for a while and then when you notice wait a minute she's not doing it anymore why and then you say, hey, we missed that. We like that. I'm like, I didn't know. I thought it was boring. You got to voice yourself. Yeah, voice your opinions. It doesn't matter. I'll listen to your opinion. Because if you if you look on that, my viral video, the comments are open for people to comment. It, it, it got kind of nasty over there. So I just stopped going over in the comment section over there. The thing is, talking about, talking about the black-white adoption thing, I don't want my channel to be about that. Because I don't want the trash to come over here. I don't want them over here because the people in our comment section is amazing. You guys are amazing. And I don't want that foolishness. Now, will I mention some topics about that? Yeah, I'll bring some topics. But it's not going to be like some of the YouTube mommy bloggers or mommy TikTokers or mommy Instagrams. That's, that's all their content is about. Is about the struggles and the stress of being a mixed adopted family. Because mm -mm. all they do is constant reactions to the comments that they get on TikTok or the constant reactions that they get on the their comments on Instagram or YouTube. Well, I'll talk about it here and there, but it's not going to be like that all the time. I want it to be very nice and pleasant over here. I hope nobody gets mad about what I talked, what I said. But you guys said y'all missed the car, the car videos. There's some of y'all said that. Even the person left the comment. They said they missed the car videos. What am I going to talk about in the car videos? Because most of the time, what I talked about in the car videos back then was work. I don't go to work anymore. And then I talked about the stress of the adoption process, like what I was going through. I don't go through those processes anymore. So the only thing that I'm going through now that I'm willing to talk about is my journey of starting my business and my was in business. And uh, and what I go through in on YouTube, I guess I guess the YouTubers that that did that do the, the fake pranks, the fake challenges, and they're going to target runs every five seconds, and um, going to get their coffee, and I don't know, doing all the silly TikTok things. I think that spoiled us. And we're like, hey, we want you to do that too. No, you enjoy. You go to them, and then you come to me. Or just mellow and, and and if you notice I don't put my kids on on camera all the time like they just stand in like okay okay in action go I don't do that that's silly but I, I think a lot of us live vicariously through people on social media so they want they want the the um, the person on YouTube or the person on social media to be more exciting than them. 
It's like, look, my life is boring, so I can't be looking at another boring life. I need you to give me excitement when I look. Because come on now, nine times out of ten, your lives are boring too. That's a we're in the lives of working. We're working women, working men. We get up, we go to work, we do our thing, and that's it. Now, some people like to escape that. Do I escape that with watching someone go on different trips and traveling the world and buying all these expensive cars? I like to, I like to leave my boring life and fall into that. Then there's some people that are like, I got a boring life and I want to feel like I'm not alone. So let me go find another boring person. Oh, Kim, she born girl. We, I feel like we're friends talking to each other. So there's people like that. And I think those are the viewers that belong here. If you're trying to live vicariously through me, girl, you ain't going very far. But if you want to, you want to feel like, like we homies and you're like, oh, it feels so good to find, like the person said in the comments, it feels so good to find somebody that's living life like me. And I don't have to watch a mom look like she got it all together. And like, I'm like, we know that's fake, girl. You got five kids and you look all fancy all together. We know that's fake, girl. I'm five kids and I can barely do my hair in the morning. Like that. Yeah, you just want to look at somebody that's like you. I'm over here. It's all over the place. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Now I'm babbling. I don't know. I'm going to end it like this. We're, we're human. We're not celebrities. And even celebrities are human. Even celebrities are human. That's why so many celebrities get so stressed. Because they're like, I just want to be normal. Stop taking the pictures. I just want to be normal. I don't want that. Because we're normal. And a lot of people take us as, because I ain't no celebrity. So I'm not going to say us. They take them as like not human. And I think they're starting to do that with, with YouTubers and social media too. Because um, I feel like some people are doing that to me. I'm not a celebrity. I'm Kim. I'm holding it down. And I'm working hard. Some things I don't show. You know, I don't know how to explain it. Let's see what we got. Um, I just think it's impossible to please everyone. We should all watch the ones we find interesting. Simple. Your response makes sense, Kim. I appreciate your realness and not trying to be something or someone for views. Sometimes you make people happy when you make the life so extravagant that you upset some people because it's, it doesn't feel real to them. That's not realistic. But then when you give them real, then it's boring to others. So like that person says, you can't please everybody. But I love you guys and God loves you too. And no matter how hard life gets, keep holding it down with God. Like Eddie says. See y'all next time. This video is long. I don't know how much gonna get clipped out, cut out, twirled and swirled. Look at that over here watching a vlog. Watching one of my vlogs. Yeah, I swear she better not talk when I hit when I hit this video off. Cause then I'm gonna hit record again. She's trying to be funny. Ooh, battery dying. You lucky. I'll turn it on on my phone.